What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Dea from DM Paints and in today's episode I'm going to be working on two commission pieces so some custom artworks for a client and what she had requested was to do mainly blues and purples with slight accents of pink and so in these artworks I'm actually going to be accenting them with silver as opposed to the brass that I normally use in my pieces when I'm doing alcohol inks. So an important thing to know when you're working with the silver specifically from Jacquard products is that it tends to kind of clump up and it kind of covers the inks as opposed to breaking apart within the piece. If you look at my other videos where I use the brass, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Brass kind of separates in the piece as opposed to the silver that tends to cover parts of the pieces. Now, what I mean by this is if you look in the bottom left corner, you're going to see that green that's a little bit muddied out by the silver. So this is something to be wary of if you are going to be working with the silver, particularly from this brand. So I'm actually considering doing a video and testing different metallics from different brands and just seeing what the differences are. I'm currently working only with Pinata inks and there's no particular reason for this except I just love the colors that they offer and I think that all of their colors are just super super vibrant and honestly I have not exhausted the combinations yet. I'm not tired of them but I'm kind of getting to that point where you know I do want to try different combinations. I want to try colors that are more versatile and not always so, you know, bright and bold, which is what I love to work with. However, I do want to try some colors that are a little bit more muted and a little bit more pastel. So I'm definitely going to be giving Copic markers a go, which is a good one to try because they just have such a wide variety of colors. And I've also heard some good things about Ranger inks. So yeah, just going to be giving other inks a go. So I really, really love the way that these two pieces turned out, especially the second one, just the amount of expression in the color. And so after I put my inks down, I always love to go back and work the sides and just make sure that my edges are wispy because I really don't like the harsh edge when you just leave the inks as they are. So I always go back in with my alcohol and soften them up after with my heat gun. The two pieces that I worked on here really reminded me of Little Mermaid. I have no idea why, but this is why I called the piece underwater. I think it was just the way that the inks moved in this piece reminded me of water and then the deep blues and purples just, I don't know, it gave it this sort of mystical look. It reminded me some like Ursula, Little Mermaid type thing. And yeah, I just decided to go in with the pipette and add my little underwater bubbles to kind of bring that idea to life even more. And I just love the pink accents here. I didn't want to add too many and overwhelm it, but oh my goodness, like the pink really popped in this piece. And I guess it's because it wasn't everywhere, but um, the pink that I'm using here is actually Senorita Magenta. So just for those of you who don't know, I do release videos every Tuesday and Friday and it is super important to me that you guys are learning and you are interested. So if there are specific things that you guys want to learn from this channel or you just want to see the process of, please leave that down in the comments below or you can even send me a message on Instagram, on Facebook, send me an email, whatever it is, I will get around to doing that because I just love to hear your feedback and the things that really interest you guys. Thank you. 
So for this piece, I just thought that there wasn't enough silver, so I went in with a little paintbrush and just hand painted some silver lines with the alcohol ink. So that is it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed my underwater commission pieces and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye guys.